What is going on everybody, Willis here. We're back with another Division 2 video. Another exotic guide for you guys today, showing you the new exotics which came with Warlords of New York. This one's pretty sweet and it's an exotic uh, backpack and yeah, it's insane. So yeah, if you guys enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like. If you're new to the channel and this is your first time watching one of my videos, I cover pretty much looter shooters. Uh, anything with loot in them so consider subscribing hit that little bell notification as well it would mean a lot and yeah let's jump into the video so most it seems of the exotics that came with warlords seem to be just dropping uh normally but the thing is i've only seen two that are dropping if you have uh the backpack which is this backpack here um the acostas go backpack or the smg the lady death i'm pretty sure those are the only two that are dropping in the open world whether you're in dc or new york so let me know if this backpack has dropped for you or the lady death because it seems like these are the only two ones but this is the backpack we're taking a look at today the acostas go backpack to get this backpack it is a open world drop you can get it anywhere in the world whether you're doing bounties killing a random enemy how uh, my friend shaxby actually got it um it was from the hyena cache in the jefferson trade center so if you have hyena keys Go around and just open up a bunch of caches, whether it be Hyena, uh, Black Tusk. Just go around, open up those caches that are spreaded around DC. And it might have a pretty high drop chance if you're in a sort of targeted loot area. But yeah, the backpack. Let's take a look at the backpack and what it does. So this is the Acosta's Go bag. Um, it's a skill backpack. By the looks of it, it has a bunch of skills. And it has the new thing called the skill tier. If you don't know what this does, it's pretty much... Uh, each gear has a chance to give you skill tiers. Um, the skill tier system is different than the last. So pretty much say you have like three skill tiers. It'll change your, I think, healing and stuff. And then how your skills work. And I think once you reach like five, that's like the max. And then six is only able to be activated through, I guess, the overcharge, which gives you just insane skill abilities. It's pretty nuts. Uh, but this backpack came with one skill tier, 11.1 .1 skill haste, 4.9% skill damage, and the talent is one in hand. So damaging an enemy with a grenade grants one skill tier for 15 seconds. This also grants overcharge if already at skill tier six. Um, it also has, I guess, a passive sort of talent on it called two in the bag, which is really cool. So you are given one extra armor kit capacity, three extra grenade capacity, 25% ammo capacity, 10% repair skills, and 10% uh, status effects on, I guess, your uh, skills. But that's pretty much the backpack. So damaging an enemy with a grenade grants one skill tier. So does that stack? Let's have a look here. So damaging an enemy with a grenade grants one skill tier for 15 seconds. So can we keep stacking that? That is the question. Let's throw a grenade. So enemies are damaged. It hasn't given us a skill tier, so I'm assuming these just don't count. So I've just done some testing, and I'm not sure if it's working in the firing range. So we're just going to go find, I guess, some enemies in the open world. But first, I need to restock my grenade. So I'll see you guys in a few seconds. So he is damaged. Did it give me a skill tier? So I'm assuming it, it just gives you the skill tier because it doesn't actually add it to the skill tier on the actual skill tier thing. So... I'm assuming it's just like artificial, like one extra skill tier. I don't know if you hit multiple targets, if it's going to give you more skill tiers, but it doesn't seem like it. I'm not entirely sure why that is. So yeah, I guess it's just a really cool skill backpack. If you manage to hit three or more enemies uh, with a grenade and you have a skill build, you're pretty much just going to be in overcharge, which is going to be really, really insane. If you're not aware what overcharge is, it just absolutely turbocharges any skills that you have up. Um, basically, they did a video a while back showing the, uh, what was it, the flame turret, where it pretty much increases its, like, range by, like, 300%, and it just goes absolutely nuts. It's crazy. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This has been, I guess, a little quick guide on the Acosta's Go backpack, the new exotic backpack in Warlords of New York. Once again, I'm pretty sure this will drop in DC or over in New York. Uh, but once again, shout out to Shaq Spear as well. He, his dropped from the Jefferson Trade Center uh, from one of the hyena chests. So like I said, maybe just go around, open up some chests, and you may get lucky. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in my next video. Be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and turn those bell notifications on. This has been Willis Gaming, and peace.